catch me! <laughs> oh, you're it! Mm. Hey, Emma, aren't you playing tag? Hmm? No, I'm reading. Reading what? A storybook about a gal in green knight. I wish I could meet a real knight. One who is brave and wears armor and has gracious manners. Like in my book. Hey, there must be some place in the galaxy where we can meet a knight. Huzzah! That sounds like we have a mission. You know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can meet a real knight. That sounds like a noble idea. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Treehouse planet? I don't think we'll find a knight there. Too hard to climb a tree in armor. Bath planet? No way can a knight take a bath in his armor. We're sure to find a knight there. <laughs> yes, the medieval planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the medieval planet. Wow, cool. Ooh, <laughs> a castle. <laughs> Yay. Nice, huh? It's made by the best blacksmith in the galaxy. Uh, uh sure, but you dropped your, uh, uh shield! Mine! Uh, well, that was a bit... Rude? I don't understand it. The Green Knight in my story was so polite and charming. Look, he's coming back. I bet he wants to apologize. Let me guess. There's something you'd like to say to us. Yes, there is. Ahem. I challenge you, Sir Rob, to an archery match. Archery? <laughs> You're wrong! My turn! Hey. Hold this! Okay! <laughs> oh, look! A oh. green eyed dragon! What oh. dragon? <laughs> look! I won! I'm the winner! The winner! The winner! Hey! That's cheating! Nah, -uh, it's not! 
So much for my gallant green knight. He's anything but gallant. Yeah, he's a big old cheater. Hmm. I know how to settle this. I challenge you to a catapult contest, Green Knight. Then we'll see who's the winner. You're on. Me first. <sighs> this knight has no manners at all. <gasps> ah, beat that. Your turn, Rob. You can do this. Hmm. Watch! This is how it's done, big guy! <laughs> Stop! <gasps> hey! That was not fair! Was too! I'm the winner! Come on! <laughs> that should be a do-over, right? You know, a knight needs to be more than just big and, and uh, full of armor. Yes, knights are supposed to be polite and honest and... <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> <Rob>? <gasps> Rob. I'll take care of this. Huh? Huh? Can we have the key to the wagon, Mr. Knight? No. But you have to. Or, or, or I'll tickle you. I'm not ticklish. <clears throat> Green Knight, this is silly. You have to let our friend go. Okay, i let him go, if you can guess the magic word. Magic word? That's easy. Finally, some manners. The magic word is please. No. <laughs> huh? What other magic word is there? Abracadabra? Castle? Huzzah? Huh. I bet the Green Knight doesn't even have a magic word. Do too. I don't believe you. I think you've forgotten it. I have not. It's fiddlesticks. <laughs> fiddlesticks. <clears throat> I said it. Now you have to let Rob go free. What? <sighs> Fine. But the last one of the stocks is a rotten egg. Wow! <laughs> I win, but <laughs> I'm stuck. <clears throat> Whoa, what happened here? Oh, are you okay? Here, we'll help get you out. Huh? Why would you help me after the way I treated you? Because it's important to be helpful, courteous, and polite to others, even if others don't always have manners of their own. Mm. Whoa! I don't know what to say. I guess I could be more courteous and polite, only... I don't know how. I have a book that might help. It's all about a good and gallant knight. I could lend it to you, if you say the magic word. Fiddlesticks? Oh, no, wait. Not that word. I know! Please! Huzzah! He's got it! Thank you. Aw, oh, you're welcome. I'd say our gallant Green Knight is off to a great start. I'd say this is one noble mission accomplished. <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? went to the medieval planet to meet a great and gallant knight, like the one in Emma's book. Only the green knight we met was anything but gallant. 
he wasn't polite or helpful at all. All the Green Knight did was misbehave, and he ended up getting stuck in the stocks. Even though he had been mean to us, we decided to help him out, and the Green Knight realized what it meant to be gallant. He even borrowed my storybook, so he could learn more about being a good and gallant knight. Huzzah! A greatly gallant mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Medieval Planet! The robot! Hi, everyone! You're just in time! For story time! We love Andy's adventure so much that I decided to write my own Andy the Android story. Uh -oh -oh. Once upon a time, Andy the Android was flying through space. Andy flies to the top of a giant tower made of mattresses, <laughs> where the princess is trapped. But, oh! Just as Andy was about to save the fairy planet princess from the wicked Robo Pigs, he. He... What? Um, well, that's the problem. I don't know what. Each time I think of an ending, it doesn't feel like the ending of a real Andy the Android story. Hmm, maybe there's a place we can go that could help. A place to inspire the perfect ending to your story. Yes, what a great idea. That sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> It's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need help to find a great ending for my story. Oh my, sounds like a troubled tale. Let's see where you can go. The exercise planet? That's a great place for making muscles, but not for making up stories. Hmm, Ball Planet is a great place for bouncing balls. But not for bouncing around story ideas. <gasps> hey! The Storybook Planet! That Yay! sounds perfect! Yay! Yes, the Storybook Planet! Good choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Familiar? Where are we? Weird. This house is made of straw? <gasps> and this one's made of sticks. And I bet the last house is made of bricks. These houses are from the Three Little Pigs. We're in a real story! Wow! Now's my chance to see how a real story really works and ends. Well, 
I don't see any pigs around. So why don't we be the three little pigs? Okay. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I guess that means I'm the big bad wolf. Roar! <laughs> what happens next? Oh! like this brick house is big, bad, wolf-proof. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow! I love how the three pigs stood up to that big, bad wolf. You should try something like that, Rob. Uh, it is a great ending, but I don't think it's right for my story. Let's keep looking. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> giant pile of mattresses? Hey! I know this story. It's the princess and the pea, one of my favorites. Me too. In this story, they kept looking and looking until they found the one true princess. <gasps> one princess, at your service. <laughs> hey, this bed has a bump in it. <gasps> I think I feel the pea. <laughs> oh! I can still feel it! <laughs> that must be one big pea! <gasps> hey, if Emma can feel that little pea under all those mattresses, then we've found our one true princess! How's that for a fun ending, Rob? It's good, but I'm not sure how it fits into my story. I have a princess, but I don't have peas. <laughs> Rockin' robots! That's a giant beanstalk! So this story must be... Jack, Jack and, and the Beanstalk! beanstalk. <laughs> this story has a brave hero, just like my story. He rescues the goose that lays the golden eggs. Yeah, but this story also has a big, meanie giant. Aww. Be yeah. my bumpy. Uh, Stay away from my goose, or you'll hear from me. You see? Don't go up there, Rob. But how else will I see how this story ends? Don't worry, Orbit. I'll be careful. Yeah! <laughs> Unhand that golden goose, Mr. Giant. It is I, Rob the Robot. <laughs> You guys, I've got the golden goose! Be my foe, boo! Put down that goose, or I'll get you! Ah! Look out! I don't think I like this story! Ah! Do you think Rob is okay? Oh, I hope so. I know so. I'm okay. Ta-da! Wow! You did it, Rob! He saved the goose that laid the golden eggs! <laughs> awesome! Super terrific! That was the most exciting ending ever! But there aren't any giants in my Andy the Android story. <sighs> I don't think there's one story on this whole planet with the right ending. Not for my story, anyway. <gasps> You're right, Rob. There isn't one story. There are three! Each of the stories we were in had bits and pieces that were also in your story. Remember? <gasps> Emma's right. There was a princess, a hero, and pigs. But how does that help my story? You can do it, Rob. You'll think of a great ending. Don't give up. Hey, that's it! Don't give up! That's the one thing in all three stories that's the same. Jack never gave up. In The Princess and the Pea, they never gave up looking for the princess. 
Even the three little pigs never gave up. And you know what else? What? Andy the android never, ever gives up. <gasps> I think I know how to end my story. Yay! Awesome! Yeah. Tell us, Rob. <laughs> it could go something like this. Andy flies to the top of a giant tower made of mattresses, where the princess is trapped. As the mean robo-pigs get closer, Andy and the princess leap off the tower, falling and falling until the flying book swoops in to catch them, just in time. The end. <laughs> it's perfect! Thank you! And do you know what else? It's also another perfect mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Today we went to the Storybook Planet, hoping to find just the right ending for my Andy the Android adventure story. It had lots of books filled with great stories, but none of them felt exactly like the story that I wanted to tell. I almost gave up, but thanks to my friends, I kept trying. And that's when I came up with the perfect ending for my story. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Storybook Planet. us about the moon. Even though you can't see the sun at night, the moon glows because of the sun's rays. But during a lunar eclipse... Uh, ahem? Yes, Emma? Lunar eclipse? I thought we were learning about the moon. We are. Lunar is another word for moon. During a lunar eclipse, the sun moves all the way behind the Earth, blocking the sun's rays completely. That's why an eclipse moon looks so dark. Ooh! <laughs> like this dark? <gasps> ah! Orbit! Turn the lights back on! Oh. oh. I can't! I can't find the switch! It's too dark in here! Yeah! Yeah! <gasps> oh. oh wait! I think I failed it! <laughs> That's my antenna! Stop! <laughs> it tickled! <laughs> huh? Not funny, Orbit. If I wanted to see a lunar eclipse, I'd go see a real one. Hey! That's a great idea! Seeing a real lunar eclipse? How amazing would that be? Uh... Super amazing! And that sounds like we have a mission! You know what that means! Yeah. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! 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 Pick a Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can see a lunar eclipse. Oh, I've always wanted to see the dark side of the moon. Let's see where you can go. The cheese planet? The moon kind of looks like a giant piece of cheese, but it's less stinky. Ooh. The astronomy planet? That's a good place to watch a lunar eclipse from far away. But we want to see one up close. <gasps> that's not a planet. That's the robot moon. We can't get any closer than that. Yay! <laughs> yes, the robot moon. 
Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Robot mood would be this bright. Oh, it's like a giant night light in the sky. This isn't so bad. It's not dark at all. Good point, Emma. We came here to see a lunar eclipse. How do we make it do that? Hmm. I think I know. Uh -huh. Check this out. These buttons must control the robot mood. Ooh. Can I try yeah. that? Hmm. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh! <laughs> oh! Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Hey! Hmm. Nothing happened. Uh. <gasps> uh huh? Oh! Hmm. What? Wow! Orbit, <gasps> something did happen. There's no gravity. Gravity? Gravity is what holds us to the ground. Or, if there's no gravity, like on the moon, you can... <laughs> Float around! <laughs> Orbit must have hit the no gravity button! Remember, this is the robot moon! We can make it do anything! <laughs> that was so much fun! Much better than playing in the dark. Let's see what else the robot moon can do. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Cows jumping over the moon! Ah, oh, this is awesome! Hmm. Ooh. Huh? That's funny. I think one of the stars is missing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that one was a shooting star. <laughs> and let's try another. <gasps> we hit the sun. It's a lunar eclipse. We did it. Mm -hmm. Rob, no. It's too dark. I can't see anything. It's okay, Emma. There's nothing to be afraid of. But I don't like it. <laughs> Where's the on button? Oh! Oh! Ah! Sorry. What's that noise? Yeah. It's a star. He seems really upset about something. It's okay, little star. You don't have to be afraid. You're with friends. Oh! Oh, no! Ah. Oh. Whoa, he's a speedy little guy. Oh, that poor little star. I don't think he likes the dark either. He should be up in the starry sky. But how do we help him? He's too fast to catch. Maybe... If we turn off the sun again, he might come back to turn it on. He clips the moon again? <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -hmm. It's okay, Emma. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're right here beside you. Here, 
You can even be in charge of pressing the button. Mm -hmm. On the count of three, okay? Okay. I'll do it for the little star. One, two, three! <gasps> oh, it's okay. We just want to help. Good little star. You're with friends. You don't have to be afraid. <laughs> Great job, Emma. I knew you could do it. We were right. The dark isn't so scary when I know my friends are close. But what are we going to do about this little guy? I get it. He's the missing star. But how are we going to get him back up there? I can help with that. can finally get back to our mission, enjoying the lunar eclipse. Uh, are you sure, Emma? Of course. With my friends and our little star watching over me, what's there to be afraid of? That's the spirit, Emma. And I'd say this is another big mission accomplished. Yeah! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Wanted to see a lunar eclipse, so we went to the robot moon to see one up close. Lunar is another word for moon, and when a lunar eclipse happens, the moon becomes very dark. But we didn't realize how much the dark bothered Emma, and it turned out she wasn't the only one afraid of the dark. Having her friends near and turning off the lights on her own gave Emma the courage to deal with her fear. And in turn, we were able to help the little star. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, 